Hey, it's Mr. Xirish here with an update on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to talk about some kind of cool developments that have occurred and will hopefully uh, be in a play out in my um, the YouTube videos I make. But first, I want to thank you guys for finally helping me reach uh, the big plateau of 50 subs. Uh, I think I have 51 subscribers right now. Um, and But, uh, I mean, some of you guys may, may remember in, like, August, in the last couple of months of summer, I was averaging, like, 19 subs for just the longest time in, in September. I think I got 30 subs exactly, so it's an average of a sub a day. So I had some really good growth in September. I had some big videos. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for um, liking that. And if you did share any of the videos with anyone, thanks for um, helping um, me out with that type of stuff. Um, um, and the two, I uh, kind of two neat things happened this weekend. Um, there was a Steam. Some of you guys may have seen the Steam Total War sale, um, and I bought Medieval 2 Total War and the uh, gold edition with Total War Kingdoms for 250. So um, I'm going to be able to start making some videos on uh, Medieval Total War. So I'll uh, go ahead and get to Medieval Total War set up here. Um, I'll, I'll admit it, I've only played this for a little bit. Um, and it is, it's a lot different than Napoleon Total War. And if you guys have any tips or suggestions on how to like get started or get really used to it, um, don't hesitate to comment below or message me. Um, the neat thing about this is that I wouldn't be able to do a lot of multiplayer battles if you guys know, um, um, since I use that Lamonte de Lone Empire mod for Napoleon Total War, I can't do any online battles, at least for now, but I um, don't plan on having any, having any mods anytime soon for Medieval Total War, so I can play as much multiplayer as my heart desires, so, um, and I've been looking kind of just at the grand campaign, doing some basic custom battles, trying to get used to the, um, just different not controls, but the different layout, and it looks really neat, you know, the Holy Roman Empire, I'll for sure be doing a um, campaign on one of these nations um, in the near future. I'm going to keep doing Napoleon Total War videos, um, I mean, not only, but for sure Total War. I'll try to throw in some Medieval Total War 2 and some of the other game I'm going to talk about in a little bit. But um, if you have any, like, comments on what you think I should do or what I should try doing, don't, please, uh, comment below. And, um message me or something to tell me what you think I should be doing. Um, and then the next development is that uh, the next development is that I got Rome, I also won Rome Total War Gold Edition for free. Um, if, some of you is, if some of you guys have seen me on Reddit, um, you may have seen that uh, kind of post on Reddit where um, someone was giving away five free copies of Rome Total War based on what they've been doing in the Total War community and stuff like that. And I was lucky enough to be one of the people who won a copy. So, uh, I mean, I for sure wanted a Rome Total War copy since obviously next year Rome 2 is coming out and that's going to be a really big thing. And I want to kind of get used to Rome and how things worked in that type of gameplay. Um, so I'm really I'm glad I was able to win this. Um, and I know Rome Total War is one of the biggest games in the Total War franchise, so... Um, we'll go ahead and start it up here. Um, so, um, and also be I'll be able to do a lot of multiplayer on Rome Total War as well um, as with Medieval. Um, if you, once again, if you have any tips, uh, I really need, I only played this a tiny amount. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun. You know the different factions in the campaign and the different uh, warfare style of warfare compared to Napoleon and also Medieval. Um, we'll just kind of bring some more diversity, I guess you might say, to my channel and hopefully bring in more people and kind of, maybe you can even, like, generate a bigger discussion between Total War people just instead of just Napoleon Total War. So if you have any um, comments or tips on how I should get used to Rome Total War as well as Medieval, don't hesitate to um, put them in the comments below. Um, but so I'll make sure I'm going to be doing, I'm not going to put any mods for a good while on Medieval or Rome so that I can do multiplayer battles, so that'll be a nice little addition to my YouTube channel. Um, so we will exit out of this. Um, so that's basically what, what I wanted to tell you guys. Uh, thanks for helping me reach 50 subscribers. Um, I'm already on the way to 100. Um, I think only 49 more. So, um, but And also that I was able to get my hands on Medieval Total War 2 and Rome Total War. So um, um, I hope this kind of uh, helps my channel grow a little bit into different games eventually. Um, into more of the bigger area or genre of Total War. So, uh, other than that, um, I'll have a video out tomorrow on Napoleon Total War once again, continuing the campaign. And hopefully I'll have another video out soon about e either Medieval, probably be, probably be Medieval, or Rome Total War. So, um, thanks for watching the video. Hope you, uh, 
um, like the kind of new direction, not new direction, but the new things happening in my channel. So uh, other than that, this is Mr. X Irish. Thanks for watching.